proposal, as you realize, this is the fifth version. We have been tuning up some aspects that clashed uh, between the impact analysis and the comments by the community. Basically, what we aim at here is to formalize that the impact analysis is mandatory and not a volunteer decision of the staff. And this is necessary because in some cases, what's happened is that in several versions of the proposals, we've had no impact analysis. And the impact analysis is a very important input, uh, both for the community and the authors. So basically, that is the summary. I won't discuss the entire text, but the changes that uh, we suggest in the PDP to uh, formalize this is, first of all, in 3, 2, 1, the functions are the roles of the moderators to, clear, to specify the impact analysis to differentiate it from other comments that uh, the uh, mod uh, chairs can ask the staff. That's one thing. And then I won't read. I'll spare you the reading of the text, but we'll give a deadline for impact analysis considering the comments by the staff in previous impact analysis four weeks before the event is critical for them. They're very busy and it's relatively reasonable for the period to be excluded from the period they, they are given for the impact analysis. Now, references. These are references to other PDPs of uh, other regions where there are similar situations. I won't give you the details. We are always told that these issues are not relevant in our uh, different communities, but true to this is that PDPs tend to get close in these things. In the in uh, the PDB of Afrinik, uh, the impact analysis is not mandatory, but the staff decided in the list to make it uh, uh, mandatory for themselves and, and, and putting deadlines in the AP APNIC, they only have five steps uh, and uh, ours has uh, a couple of pages and they don't even mention impact analysis. However, for several years, the staff is yielding it in just a few days after the proposal is published. The ARIS PDP also differs. But um, AC in, in less than four weeks, the AC is giving um, information equivalent to an uh, impact analysis. And RIPE is the most explicit. They specify four weeks with no exceptions for the impact analysis, and it's always uh, respected. So this would be my presentation. Thank you, Jordi. We now invite Mariela Rocha, the staff of LACNIC, to present the impact analysis of the impact analysis of the impact analysis in just five minutes. We have two slides on, with the comments by the staff. In this first slide, the first three comments were already included in the previous version. LACNIC considers that the impact analysis is a useful tool and it uh, contributes with additional input to the discussion. However, we believe that the chairs in the community may, and uh, it's 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 uh, our objective, it's desirable to start the discussion of each proposal, even when uh, the impact analysis, even if it's not ready. The important thing is for the community to debate it. Uh, um, so on the other hand, impact analysis is relevant as long as it is useful to the discussion. So we don't consider it important if there is a discussion process where only the author and LACNIC participate, excluding the community. The third comment is that we do our best to provide 
comprehensive uh, impact analysis. However, in some situations, we needed to collect, gather additional information after publishing the impact analysis. So in those cases, we believe that uh, when it's relevant uh, information, it's important to share, we might have to publish the impact analysis again, or even to uh, that we may have to include that additional list uh, um, in the impact analysis. The new two new comments in this version are four and five. Four st says, and I'm going to read it verbatim, uh, LACNIC is uh, the uh, most interested uh, our party uh, uh, in conducting an impact analysis and the community no, must know the challenges and the risks of, uh, that a proposal should have in our systems and the process. So regardless whether the uh, uh, impact analysis uh, is uh, in the PDP or not, like Nick will continue to um, conduct uh, impact analysis. And finally, number five is we won't give any specific recommendations in this new version. However, we want to know whether the community consider that this is an issue that must be specified in the PDP. So, these are just uh, it's food for thought. It's now uh, so. If this were, if this proposal were would be accepted, um, uh, we it wouldn't have any impact on uh, the LACNIC systems. But in the time devoted to the daily operations by the staff, Jordi. If can we have the slides back, please? In response to the points regarding the impact analysis, I won't read out the first that was commented by Mariela. This proposal is not modifying at all what we have in this point. The community participates in a voluntary nature, and on many occasions this participation does not occur as would be desirable over the years. We have seen that the impact analysis often leads to conversations such as this. Although it is quite true that there could be conversations in the impact analysis, but, analysis, but very often this does not take place in the discussion. So as per what was stated in the previous point, the authors should update the proposal when there are any contributions, whether from the community or from the staff, through the impact analysis or through other mechanisms. So it is reasonable and desirable that this should be the case. And the proposal does not change this. The thing is that this should be done within the required period of time. On several occasions, there have been proposals that have had impact analysis after one or two years. Now, in very limited occasions, that had been the case, but we're trying to formalize this so it doesn't happen again. So based on the previous replies, the recommendations of the staff would be counterproductive because that has demonstrated that the impact analysis often leads to a debate by the community that otherwise does not exist. It is not reasonable to make this a decision of the moderators to decide whether impact analysis is required because no one is above the community. This is a role of moderating and determining the consensus and not to discuss the PDP. Thank you, Jordi. So let us now go over to the discussion. We now invite you once again to share your questions and comments. And this is available in the lower part of the, the Q&A boxes at the bottom of the Zoom screen. And otherwise, Franco can open the microphone. We have plenty of time. Ricardo Patara, 
I understand the concern of the author has, but I am against this proposal. I have some comments and I will try to be as brief as possible. As stated by the name, this is an impact analysis. This is not something that is an input for the discussion. There are some proposals that might have an impact on the operation of the rear of the RER in its implementation. It is important for LACNIC to state this, but this should not be used, as you mentioned, as a trigger. Of so I agree that this often happens. The discussion begins after the impact analysis, but this should not be the solution to a problem of a discussion that did not take place. That is not the way to find a solution to a possible problem. Some authors try to adjust their proposals based on what the impact analysis states. I think we should listen to the community because if the community states that is a good idea, we have to make progress. And the same as with the impact analysis, to if they highlight some concerns, we see whether these are worthwhile, we try to strike a balance, and so on. So I don't think that this should be mandatory. I understand the concerns and the potential problems you mentioned, but nevertheless, I think we don't need this to be something as hard as an obligation. And like a, as a final comment, you mentioned in the other RIRs, this each community has its own decision making procedures, so some comparisons might be useful. The other one, there could be some other RIRs that have this, and the link you mentioned highlight a version that is already obsolete in another RIR. And RIPE, for example, states that the impact analysis is done at the end. Now, what is the objective of this? For RIPE to be present in a correct way of interpreting things. So what is the impact that it can have on the system with the resources and so on? has an impact on the operations and even a legal impact. So that is the impact. So once again, this is an impact analysis and should not be considered as an input. Ricardo, however, you yourself are referring to what I am questioning. The impact analysis often leads to a discussion, although this is a discussion of other aspects, and that is the point. What we cannot solve is to increase the participation of the community, and that is something that is not working. So if we don't have the participation of the community, but the impact analysis is a useful input, then we have to bear that. We have to consider that. Ariel Weher. Jordi, once again, back to the same topic, version 5. Well, I'm not in favor of this, and I was not in favor of the previous one. Maybe I was a bit uh, too straightforward, but I think we should finish this proposal and continue finding versions. I'm not a member of the staff. I was seated over there, and I'm well aware, and you're also well aware or I think at least I know how much the staff works and all the queries that are done. And in order to adjust the proposal, we're trying to figure out a solution in order to really find the final adjustment. And if a given time is established in the manual, we have to keep on filling in forms and emails and justifications that end up consuming more time and resources compared to what an impact analysis implies. So to tell the truth, I think this should not be mandatory. Now, what I do believe is that the impact analysis sometimes is enriching, and it would be good if this were the case. But very often, I think that some discussions 
encouraged by the impact analysis might not be so good. And even the impact analysis might someone somehow have an influence on the community and even on a decision of the moderators regarding the consensus. I don't think it would be good in 100% of the cases. That is why I don't agree to advance with this proposal. And like I said with the previous and the versions prior to that, I think we should leave this aside and find another option. Thank you. Thank you, Ariel. What you state regarding that establishing a deadline, we are somehow losing a better impact analysis. I think that is what you're trying to say. Then I think that is not correct because this proposal specifies that if for whatever reason this the deadline cannot be met, automatically this is explained and that you didn't meet that deadline. Well, explaining is also wasting resources because explanations involve a good explanation. Thank you. Franco, any questions from remote participants in the Zoom? No. Nico? Nicolas Antonello, speaking of my personal capacity. Well, I don't agree with this proposal first, and let me explain why. I'm going to use the two minutes, so let me know when I have 10 seconds left. I think there are certain risks with approaches such as this, and I think it is convenient to review the governance model. The Internet governance model is a multi-stakeholder model, and it's down, up, and not up, down. If we were top-down, a hierarchical model, LACNIC would then have a organization that would enforce given policies and that is not the way internet works. It is the community that decides it. So the impact analysis, as was well explained, is an analysis regarding how the policy will have an impact. So first we have the policy, how the policy will have an impact on LACNIC's operations. In other words, if LACNIC says that something that is contained in the LACNIC is impossible to implement, or if in the daily activities applying this policy, they think this cannot be applied, or if something has to be discussed to make the task easier, then it is included in the impact analysis. So the mere fact that the impact analysis comes before the policy, in my personal understanding, potentially is negative for the policy development because somehow it is a community that decides the policy. Let me just recheck the language. The policy is not approved by LACNIC board. Once the policy completes the process, this is ratified or not by LACNIC board. So ratifying and approving are two different things. Now, why does the LACNIC board have this capacity? Because this has to do with the executive role of LACNIC. So they might realize that something contained in a policy cannot be executed. So they can return this to the discussion list. And when this happens, which is not at all frequent, maybe over the past years, we it's not even uh, the fingers of one hand cannot count the opportunities. It, it's not even that amount of times. So uh, policy analysis at the beginning of process that belongs to the community just for the purpose of encouraging discussions is counterproductive. So that resource does not even exist in the uh, in the hierarchical models. So first you have the legislative that passes the laws and then these are implemented. It is not top down. So if there are reasons, the real reasons why you cannot implement something, you have to let me know. But once the policy has been drafted, not before. So this goes beyond just something that might seem a mere impact analysis. Potentially, this might affect the policy development process. Nico, I understand 
what you say and I don't agree with some of the comments you make and in other things I might agree but above all I don't agree with the fact that the impact analysis just observes situations that impact the operations impact analysis and if you read this also give indications to things that might affect the community hello uh, thank you I'm Lucia Leon I'm from Peru from Hiper Derecho. This is the first LACNIC meeting I come to, and first of all, I'd like to say that this proposal seems reasonable. And personally, because this is the first opportunity I take the floor, I think that the debate of the first proposal presented today was quite clear, and this third one also had an impact analysis made by the staff. Secondly, I think that I think it's a bit strange to think of a policy that doesn't have a impact analysis or cost-benefit analysis, although I think it is meaningful to think in the way the community has been built that the team that has the best capacity to do so should go about this, namely distributing capacity and resources. So LACNIC staff has the capacity to do this. And finally, I recall that one of the arguments that was mentioned was that maybe this is a policy proposal that won't have a major impact. But nevertheless, LACNIC staff also has the capacity of defining this, particularly in the within the time frame that is agreed on and stating that there is no impact. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We now have uh, Herman Moleski. I'm speaking personally. I'm against the proposal. Uh, unlike the previous speaker, I th I don't think that the impact analysis should be mandatory for every proposal. This is an excessive use of the staff resources. In my view, it's not necessary. The staff always is always ready and willing to collaborate in the drafting of the proposal. Jordi, whenever you come here and you present things, you speak of all the times and uh, the uh, rich exchanges you have with the staff as you uh, develop the proposal. And the staff has always told, given uh, the impact analysis in the proposals that uh, needed it, and it was very beneficial for the community, but it's not really necessary for all of them, nor should it be mandatory for all. That's my view. Hernan, in this version, it's no longer mandatory for all the versions. That was changed already in the previous version. Thank you. So let's go with Wesley. I'm Wesley Correa. First of all, I'm against the proposal because I imagine that the spirit of the proposal initially would be to increase the participation of the community in the discussions, and that's not the way things work. And as a matter of fact, as, as was pointed out by my pre the previous speakers, the impact analysis. Uh, uh, needs to anticipate the impact that a certain policy will have in the actions and in the policy manual. So I think that the best way, the best would be that if the staff can do that at the end of a discussion or while it's being debated in the list, the staff will evaluate and also consider the inputs are of uh, added in the community for the execution of a policy in the policy manual and also if this were mandatory or if they put a deadline for an impact analysis to be executed to promote the participation of the community in the discussion of a policy it might be that the staff due to uh, excessive activity or whatever will not be considering all the issues necessary when uh, developing the impact analysis that's why i'm against the policy wesley the pro the 
aim, the goal of uh, the uh, proposal was not to promote the discussion of the community, but uh, what it says that one of the arguments that justified is that uh, as years have gone by is that until the impact analysis is not published, very often the community doesn't uh, consider it, but it's not a cause, it's the effect. Thank you. Franco, is there anything in uh, the Zoom panel? No, there's nothing here. So let's go. Let's uh, measure the temperature in the room to consider it when measuring consensus. We remind you that in Zoom, you see a poll It's a, it was a vote, uh, vote uh, voting, but uh, we are not actually voting. We are, uh, it's a poll. We are measuring uh, uh, the temperature. So the consensus is evaluated with the comments in the forum and the list, and by no means is this considered a vote. Um, so let's uh, see what uh, people think in the room and in the Zoom. Let's see whether the poll is appearing so that people can uh, give their feedback. For those of you in person here, the staff of LACNIC will start counting as you raise your hands. Please raise your hand and keep it up uh, if you are in favor of this proposal. Thank you. In the Zoom, we go on with the poll. Yes. So please raise your hands and keep your hands up if you're against this proposal. Thank you, everyone. Raise your hands now if you abstain. So, but please raise your hands, please, and keep it uh, up. Let me check in Zoom. I'm giving you just a few minutes more uh, for the Zoom poll. So let's close it now. Thank you. Proposal LAC 2023 version 5 uh, mandatory impact analysis. It will complete its eighth week on June 7th, 2023. So from then on, and in two weeks' time, uh, the chairs will communicate, will tell uh, the community whether the proposal reached consensus. So we invite you to go on with the discussion in the policy uh, list, mail list. <laughs> 